Why I don't use Sac B for binding? Okay, fair enough. There are studies that show that Saccharomyces boulardii binds certain mycotoxins when we add it to feed when we're going to feed an animal moldy feed. Ugh. Now that's different than an inhalational exposure, first of all. But what happened with my patients is when we added Sac B, they became carb cravers. Animals are on controlled diets, so it works for them, but humans, we can do whatever the heck we want, including going on a pasta bender if we wanted to. So yeah, that's what was happening with my patients, and they were getting more neurological symptoms, more cardiac symptoms, and more hormonal imbalance. And then I put the puzzle pieces together. I found a study that showed that Saccharomyces boulardii can keep the mycotoxin zearelinone in its more reduced state longer. So in other words, we're making the mycotoxin more toxic for a longer period of time. What does xerelinone do? So xerelinone is from Fusarium species mold. It's neurotoxic, cardiotoxic, and causes hormonal imbalances. Bing, bing, bing. All three things that I was seeing with my patients. So if a binder can even possibly, a micro chance it could cause things to go worse rather than better, why use it? little binding tip from me to you so you can conquer mold and take back your health.